You can edit the front and the back, can't you? Yep. All right. We rolling? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, as long as I've been building spurs. Okay, that's not going to work. Let me see. When I first started building spurs, I realized it was going to be a real problem to get them to fit just right. And the first thing you need to know about uh, properly fitting a pair of spurs is how they should ride on your boot. And I know for myself, when I first started, I tended to make them fit too tight, and then they will tend to work up your boot, and they don't, they don't stay down. And sometimes when that happens, people in, tend to think, well, I, I have to make them tighter so they'll stay down, when in the reality is they should actually make them looser. Uh, the spur should be able to move up and down. Sometimes I call it flopping up and down. Uh, if you're at a rodeo or show, if you watch people walk by with their spurs, you'll see them actually kind of bouncing. That way they always stay down. Uh, also, if you're walking down stairs and step on the edge of the stair, it'll, it'll give. And, uh, so that's the kind of the look and feel that we want. Uh, but this, this spur basically fits really good. It's even all the way around. Some boots, and it's a minority of boots, tend to have more of a V shape on the, the leather part of their heel. Um, in that case, you're going to have to kind of live with maybe a little bit of gapping on the corners, but that doesn't really affect how the spur is going to ride and, and wear. Um, another, <clears throat> something else to remember too is when you're checking the fit of the spur, it might fit and you, you feel it's loose enough and it has that flop. But then when you put your foot in the boot and actually put weight on the ground or in the stirrup, your foot will swell up and that can cause the spur to start riding up. So you always want to check your fit with your boot on and your full weight on the floor. And Sometimes you might have somebody check and, and see if you've got it, um, you got the right fit. Another issue is this welting here. And you can see here this, uh, this person's used these spurs quite a bit and this welting is kind of flattened out. Well, if you have a brand new pair of boots, this welting is pretty pronounced. But if you wear your spurs uh, three or four days, that'll tend to flatten that welting out and then they'll fit a little better. Uh, new spur straps uh, can cause a problem because as the strap starts contouring to the boot it tends to relax and you might have to punch a hole in the middle or move it up a notch. So there's a lot going on, uh, you know, how new your boots are, the straps, and what hole you're in. But um, ideally, you want that spur to ride pretty much above the heel like this and then be loose to, to flop up and down. Now, to get that fit, um, one easy way to do it would be if you've got a, a pair of spurs that you've ridden with and they tend to fit and function really good, you can just take that spur and you can trace it. And then you can take a tape measure and draw a cross. And then this would be three and three eighths. And you could take a picture of that and send that to us. And that's pretty much a foolproof way we can match this spur that way. Now if you don't have spurs that you're happy with the fit or you don't have spurs at all, really the only way the alternative we've been able to figure out is um, 
take a piece of wire. I find that uh, copper wire is easy to form. And a lady's heel band, before we bend it, is eight inches long. And that's how you get this length for a lady's. And for a men's, it's uh, nine inches long. And really, the most important part, measurement we, we want is this distance here to there. So you could bend this, and it doesn't have to be, you want to get it pretty smooth and even across the top. Get it on here, kind of sight down. And you can kind of basically do the same thing. Give us a measurement across here. And this is three and three eighths. So that's basically the two ways with the wire and with your your current pair of spurs or even somebody else's spurs if they fit your boot good. So I hope that's helpful. It sounds uh, it can get a little complicated, but what we're really striving for, we hand forge these heel bands and then we temper them and when you take them out of the box we want them to just slip right on and fit your boots. Now you know sometimes they might be just a little bit small or a little bit big and you can actually squeeze these together or you can pull them out a little bit but um, if, if they're measured correctly in the beginning uh, you shouldn't have any problem at all.